St. Thomas residents share what they've learned through the retrofitting program. I went down by prospect in two days when they were trained. But I learned about the roof, how to put on the hurricane strap and how to foot the zinc and everything that I can learn about. Richard is not just a resident, he's a carpenter. And while he assists others like Jacqueline, he's also learned something new himself. The new thing I learned, oh, the, the spacing of the, the, the lot and the spacing of the nail and the zinc. Because they say don't put the, the lot at least two feet, six apart. And the head of the zinc and the tail of the zinc, two groups apart, you must put in the nail. And I used to put them four and five apart. So I learned something much from them. Hurricanes are likely to occur at any time. And we're still in the hurricane season, so be prepared. Ensure your roof is properly fitted with hurricane straps. Look out for rotted wood and repair them as soon as possible. Join us next week, same time, for another look at what's happening with the Artpem Diffid Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. Hurricane proof roof, now nah, leave ya. No, be prepared when hurricane come round. Secure your roof, strap it down. No matter where you live, country or town. When we step out the roof, then strap them down. Coming to me roof, you shoulda make it hurricane proof. That's right. You know when hurricane come blow up your roof, you have to make it hurricane proof. May I tell you? Hurricane straps, one of the key elements in a campaign designed to ensure that Jamaicans who have roof frames made of timber are no longer susceptible to hurricane force winds. The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, and the Department for International Development, DFID, have toured several communities in eastern Jamaica which were severely affected by Tropical Storm Gustav. ODPEM and DFID have joined forces to teach builders and homeowners how to properly construct their roofs. This is being done with technical support provided by the Heart Trust NTA. The problem was, some of the tradesmen who built the houses that were damaged did not use the correct procedures. The Hodge Trust instructor says there are three simple steps that should be taken. Your rafters have to be adequately spaced. Securing the roofing material in a proper way is a must. Right? The eaves of the house also, the longer the, the eave, the house normally looks better, but it's a nice place for the hurricane. It gives the hurricane a lot of room to work with. Right? Therefore, working under there can take off the roof. The skills and knowledge of Mr. Henry are passed on to the hard trainees who have approached the task of building and retrofitting with alacrity. Some of the houses were badly damaged, so we have to change everything. We have to take off wall plates, take out the rafters, change everything. So while we're doing that, we bolt down the wall plates to the building. Then after that, we strap it with the hurricane strap that is secured and fastened to the building. Then we run our rafters, measure our arm on our lads, make sure they're correctly placed, and then we sheet it. We have closed most of the area we breeze have encountered with, that's the open areas such as um, the backup boards, the fascia boards, the cappings, so uh, you put on the wall, um, the, the hurricane straps. So you have to do a, a, a number of things to keep the building secure. All this information is shared with the residents who are benefiting from the Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. Through and through. We have, we've had good turnout and some of the beneficiaries themselves have participated um, in the workshops and are now able to identify clearly you know, what are the various items and how these items can be used to strengthen their homes. We have two meetings per, per month. We have a CDC meeting like every, the first Thursday of every month. 
I know have a um, council body meeting, like the people who is on the member of the floor, like every second Tuesday. We have learned about the different type of roofing that they had, like gable and flat roof and all different type of roofs, and how to fit on the different type of roofs, like the gabling roofs and the flat roofs. Join us next week when we meet some more of the people who are working to ensure that houses are safe from storms in the Odpam Diffid Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. Water come into me roof, you should have make it hurricane proof. That's right. You know a hurricane come blow off your roof. You One of the areas affected by Tropical Storm Gustav, which hit Jamaica in 2008, was Portland. Over the past couple of months, residents there have been receiving assistance to retrofit their roofs, many of which were lost due to the storm. The support is being provided by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ARPEM, and the Department for International Development, DFID, through the Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. When a team from the organizations toured the area recently, residents there could tell the representatives of the work that was being done. They take off the rooftop and they put on, the, they raft it and put on back the sinks. The hurricane strapping that they use, that wasn't there before. The roof would be safe because before they didn't have any strap and they have any strap now. So I think a stronger roof is on it. Well, from ever since, every hurricane always damaged my roof. And at times we have to set pond to catch water. And I mean, it is a great job they have done. Well, they use the hurricane strap which is very good for the roof, so, and the capping, that will help. Well, right now, to all it fixed, I, I have assurance that things will be better. What I understand, they use the hurricane strap, mm -hmm. and I think that's very important, because the first roof didn't have that. Mm -hmm. So I think the hurricane strap, they strap every one of these boards, and I believe that if we get the next hurricane, it's not going to just lift up everything, probably lose zinc or probably none, but I think it's more durable now. And just as in St. Mary and St. Thomas, where residents learned as they worked alongside the technical teams and artisans, these community members also did more than just to watch. Ian Winter was one of them. I was involved, learning to, and experience everything also, helping parts in board. And I learned that the hurricane strap is very important and the, build, and the, the board to keep it firm. It was good, the spacing was good. I think nine pieces of two before on each side. And the yeah, spacing was good. And they used the, the Phillips and the, the zinc. I learned a lot. Carpenter Roy Stevens has been at his trade for over 20 years. But he's now added to his wealth of knowledge. What we're doing it now, we have to use hurricane strap, bolt, and steel. Sometimes the, the mason leaves the steel up. So we board the rafter and put it into it. Well, I'll use concrete nail and the same steel. Mm -hmm. But you want more now. So the hurricane strap do a lot. In the new techniques is better, most firmer. One of the stakeholders in the Ardpem Diffid Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program is the Parish Disaster Committee, the PDC. Denise Lewis is the coordinator for Portland. Disaster management and response in terms of victims benefiting from the program is a collaborative effort through the four levels of disaster management the national the regional the parish and the community the coordinator mr frankson from the national level will seek assistance from the regional level, 
intertwining.